So I'm going to go on over and just say, okay, let's go into this one. And I'm just going to open it up. And I'm going to say this is going to be a category. Okay, I'm just going to copy the Udemy in the memo. Put that in the customer, making a new customer for it. Just as we have seen in the checking account, I'm going to make a new account for it, naming it after this particular customer due to the what we just discussed. I'm going to add it and I'm going to make it an income account. Money's coming in, so it's income and then it's going to be other primary source let's say and i'm just going to call it udemy income okay udemy income boom let's save it let's make a rule for it and just have our standard rule just like we did before i'll just call it the udemy rule and then i'm going to say that there it is and let's take it for, i like taking it from the bank text udemy if it contains udemy then apply the rule deposit uh udemy income and looks good. I'm not going to automatically apply it. I'm just going to add them because I want to double check them at least for the first couple couple times out. So then if I sort up top by the ones that have been recognized, six of them have been recognized. There they are. I'm just going to select all of them or you can select them that way or holding down shift and pick them up. And then I'm going to add them and accept them. So accept. So then if I go to the tab to the right and running it, so now we've got in the PayPal account, we've got transactions in the PayPal account going into it. And we've just recorded these deposits. If I go into any one of them, they are recorded using a deposit form, just as we would expect after seeing the checking account transactions in a similar fashion. Let's go to the tab to the right and the income statement, running it to refresh it. So we're looking at fresh stuff. I don't like looking at moldy old reports. It's like fruit. They spoil, they're gross when they're old. Get them out of here. Any case, Udemy income, there it is. So there it is on that side. Normally income is recorded once again with a sales receipt or invoice, not a deposit form. But if we're using this kind of system, just a platform gig work situation, then we might just use the deposit form. Although losing some added detail and data like the sub ledgers, it's quite useful and easy and therefore it's a fair trade-off so okay let's just do the rest of them i'll just do this one skillshare so i'll just copy that skillshare customer and boom save it and i'm going to make a new account just called skillshare income because it's another platform thingy uh dingy let's make it a income account and let's make it other primary and let's just call it skillshare income or skill success income, whatever, you know, that's, it's different. That's different. I know, but I'm just, it's just practice here. So we're going to credit and create a rule. Let's make a rule. I'll make it from the text. As long as it contains skill success, I want you to do what I just said to do, put it into that new income account. I don't want you to apply the rule automatically. I want to double check it. And so let's do that. And then if I was to go up and say, I want to check out the recognized boom. I'm going to select them. I know I'm doing this fairly quickly, but we've seen it in the past. So I just want to show you to how to, we can do a few of them in a bit more rapid fire fashion. So now we've got the checking account, which uh, I'm sorry, not the checking account. We're talking pay to the pal account, pay to the pal. So then we've got these two deposit forms. Everything's a deposit because that's all we've been dealing with thus far tap into the right running it and now we've got another income account for this one i believe this is the one we just made so there is that let's keep it rolling keep on rolling 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 i'm going to close up my filter and let's do this one teachable so teachable whoever they are that's like a let's copy that and put that here and boom customer services another ad and I'm going to make this income account income boom. And then it's going to be an other primary income teachable income because teachable paid us. So we'll say save it and add the rule every time. It's going to be a teachable rule money in. If you see in the text bank text that contains teachable then apply the rule put it to that teachable income account por favor if you please 
and then we're not gonna I'm just gonna double check it so I'm not gonna auto add not gonna auto add and then I'll just recognize the recognized ones and then boom boom and accept and then let's just check it out on the income let's just check the income statement side of things this time income statement teachable income isn't that 